Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this demo, we are going to see how we can connect Azure Event Hub with Azure Synapse Analytics. And in this demo, we are going to see one client application in sending some real-time event to Event Hub. And then we are going to write some notebook and run on a Spark to read that events which is coming inside Event Hub from Azure Synapse Analytics. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal and inside our subscription and also resource group called SoftBase Demo. We have pre-created few resources. We have an event hub namespace and we have Synapse workspace. We have a client application which is going to generate some call. It is going to send some event to event hub and from Synapse, we are going to read that. So let's go inside Synapse and inside Synapse, if you see, we have a spark pool created and using this spark pool, we are going to read. So let's go to develop section. And in develop section, I am going to create a notebook. Let's put a event hub demo. Then we are going to attach this notebook to our Spark pool. And the language will be PySpark Python. The very first thing which we are going to do that we are going to install Azure Event Hub library. So let's run that. Now it is starting our Spark cluster. That is why it is taking some time after. Once it start and session start, it is going to very, very fast. Let's wait a couple of minutes. Now we can see that it installed the successfully this package. Now let's go to next step. And for next step, we are going to have this code which I'm posting. So we are going to import event hub consumer client event hub shared credential from azure.eventhub.io which we have just installed and now we need fully qualified name and we can go and I just to grab that before. So let's go to that our event hub where this data is going to come. This is our fully qualified domain name for event hub. This is fully qualified domain. Then our event hub name is telco demo which is going to come telco demo and then which policy we are going to use for listening purpose so let's go inside our shared access policy one policy we have created for listen purpose and we can grab the primary key in the details you can create policy from here what policy you want for listen or send purpose or management purpose so this is that shared key and shared access policy now let's run this code now it is created a consumer client event have consumer client with whatever details we have provided so let's run this code now this code has run now next code we are going to start listening that one so this code say the hey on event just print that one so here we are printing but actual code will be there whatever you want to do that one and then it is going to update checkpoint and other things and then based on it is going to read from beginning so before that i am going to start and if you see the same service bus uh, host name which is provided by our event hub we are using for sending purpose our records this is event hub name before running this cell in code which is going to listen all the event which is coming into event hub i am going to run this client generator app which is going to generate some call record there are so many events are being generated. So let's go and run our code, which is going to listen and print. And right now we are printing, but whatever we want to do, either save into a storage or save into DB or do any real time activity, we can do. And we can see this records are started coming and it, it is going to listen all the time. And we can see that this uh, KB will start growing all the time. It is going to read and append that one. This is what I wanted to share with you in this demo that how easily we can read real time data which is coming inside Event Hub from Synapse using a Spark and PySpark Python code. I hope you will get a basic idea how we can now manipulate this event and other things and how we can do how we can save into Delta format or any other place or how we can correlate how we can run different query, different aggregate based on this data. It will be very easy. Thank you.